Welcome to Ground Control. I have an item for review. I've been looking for a decent battery meter for quite a while because I wanted to find one that would work with 1S LiPos as well as lithium high voltage 1S LiPos or 2 LiPo, 2 cell, 3 cell. So this one supports 1S to 8S LiPos. It also supports uh, LIHV batteries and uh, it will show you the voltage in each cell, not just the, the uh, voltage in the pack. It will show you the, the current capacity of the pack and then it will show you um, the highest cell voltage in your pack, the lowest cell voltage in your pack, and also the variation in voltage between the highest and lowest voltage cells. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty versatile little battery meter, and it also has a five volt power input. Uh, you could use a back from a from a speed controller. Um, you could use a little voltage regulator. I found that these little red JST connectors slide right over those pins, so that's that's what I use uh, with a little two cell lipo to power it because it also works as a uh, servo and ESC tester. So it's real handy to just quickly connect up a 2S battery to this without having to pull out a receiver or, um, or, or a standard servo tester. You just hook it up to this and test it out. And um, it has several modes. It has a little dial here on the side. It has a three pin connector here for your signal your hot and your ground wires and you can use this PPM dial right here to either speed up or slow down uh, the actuation of the servo if you have the servo automatically actuating or you can use this dial to actuate the servo yourself so that's that's a pretty handy little feature so uh, let me bring the camera in here close and we'll see how it works see the features on it this uh, particular unit is made by GT Power. When I saw their name on this little battery meter, I took a, a, a detailed look at it because I have a load meter that's made by GT Power that I've been using for years. I still use it. It's, it's a very reliable and handy device to have. So this is not only a review item, but it's also a very needful thing. So anyway, I'll bring the camera in. We'll hook it up and see, see what we can see. Okay, so I have a 3-cell 1500mAh 40C LiPo and your balance plug attaches to it and you want the hot wire pointed to the left. You'll see these little um, slot cutouts on the top for the raised um, um, nubs on the balance cable. So let's go ahead and plug that in. It shows we've got 11.62 volts, 55% charge in the pack. And then if we press our cell button here, and it shows one, two, three cells across the top. Shows you the voltage in cell one. Press it again. Voltage in cell two. Press it third time. Voltage in cell three back to cell one and if you press your mode button here it'll show you the it'll go back to the um, total pack and then it will show you the highest cell voltage which is on cell three it says it's at 60 percent and then the first cell at 3.82 and then press it again and it shows you the variation between the max voltage and the minimum voltage on your pack, 0 0.077 volts. So you can also use this to check your cells in your pack and see how evenly those packs are being discharged. Say if you've got a cell that's going bad in your pack. Okay, so now I will go ahead and hook up my external power supply and we'll we'll test the, the servo function part of it. And, oh, and I forgot to tell you, this is also a discharger. So if you hold down your mode button here, 
until it switches over to discharge. Now it will discharge the battery pack. Of course, I don't want to do that right now, but but that's a nice function. There we go. And then press your type button to get it out of the discharge function. Okay. I've got my two cell pack hooked up to my voltage regulator here. And on the side it shows you the plus and the minus and the signal wire location. So just make sure that you get it plugged in the right way. And that red JST connector fits right over top of those pins. Same thing on the servo. Uh, connector. If you look on the top of the port over here, it'll show you where the signal plus and minus wires should be connected. Okay, so I've got my servo hooked up. And then you've got, it says cell on the center button and below it, it, sell, it says servo. So on all these um, large print at the top of the buttons are, are quick click buttons and then all of the labels, smaller labels at the bottom of the buttons are long click. So if I hold the cell button down, okay, so now we're in um, PPM mode so that we can test our servo. So if you guys, hopefully you can see the uh, servo arm moving on that. So I can use the dial on the side of it to actuate the servo, <coughs> excuse me, actuate the servo manually or I can press the cell button quickly and then I can dial that speed down. That's good right there. So it will automatically um, actuate the servo back and forth, which is usually the way I test my servos, just to make sure that they sound smooth, that they look like they're getting full range of motion, and uh, they're not grinding or anything, you know. You want to you want to make sure that you test your servos before you ever put them in your aircraft. And this is a handy little function to have on this little battery meter. So if I click the mode button, it puts it into uh, 1500, um, 1500 on the signal, which puts it in the center position. If I click it again, and I keep clicking it. It varies the output on the servo. Center again. And then again the dial to slow it down or speed it up. So that's that is a pretty handy little battery meter. Okay, so so you can see by the functionality of this little battery meter that's a lot more than just a battery meter. And um, before I purchased this, I had been, I'd had to pull out a multimeter. I kept a multimeter in my pack, and I would pull out my multimeter with the probes to check the battery voltage after each flight, uh, you know, to see the, the, the way that I was flying, the length of time that I flew, calculate what my flight time would be without depleting the battery too far. So. This makes it a heck of a lot nicer being able to check those voltages out in the field and it makes it really handy for, for I, I don't really use it as a discharger because it's, it's very slow compared to my balance chargers. So I use my balance chargers to discharge my lipos. I don't use this, but it is a handy feature to have if you need it. Um, it, it really comes in handy as a servo tester as well. I test all my servos before I put them in my aircraft. And I always have this with me in my bag and, and it always comes back with me. So it's really handy just to pull this out to test my servos rather than go through my, uh, my equipment bin to find my little servo tester when I can use it with this. You can also use this not only as a servo tester but you can use it as an ESC tester too. So very, 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 very handy thing to have. I've had this for months now, and I've been using it out in the field. But I wanted to put some time on it, make sure it was durable enough to have out in the field, get knocked around a little bit, and make sure that it still continued to work before I ever recommended it. So, so now, yeah, so I, I definitely recommend this. There are, there's a link in the show notes to this item. I just checked this morning. Um, it is still available. You know how quickly things move in and out. And I think it was less than $14 if 
for this battery meter and um, I, I looked at a lot of battery meters but I couldn't find one that also supported 1S LiPos and also supported LIHV LiPos until I came across this one. So think about that. Uh, it's a handy tool to have in your flight bag to take out in the field with you. As I stated, the link to it is in the show notes. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.